Thank you for participating in this lesson on trade routes. It could also be called 10 Ways to Screw Up Others' Businesses. I'll teach you how to massively increase your trade volume. Now, select your convoy, which is anchored off Cartagena, and select the Trade Route tab. As long as you only have a convoy, you can, of course, act on your own, buying, transporting, selling commodities. But with more convoys, it gets out of hand. You have to learn to give orders to your convoys so that they are sailing for you automatically. For that, you need the trade routes. Now, click on the Trade Routes button to open the dialog and then select Create New Route. Here, you create new trade routes and assign them to your convoys. A new route does not yet contain any towns, so you will have to edit it first. This is the navigation map. It shows you wind direction and wind force everywhere. With Tailwind, a convoy will naturally drive much faster. And time is money. The red areas are sometimes hit by storms. This increases the risk that your convoy will be damaged. That's what areas with a dull wind look like. Here, convoys move very slowly. Therefore, such areas are usually avoided. The colored areas near coasts indicate shallow waters and reefs. Convoys with greater draft have to be very careful here and therefore do not make rapid progress. Convoys consisting only of vessels with little draft have no problems here. Now look up to the left. There you will see the towns where you have acquired a trading license. You will also see what each town is producing at the moment. Set up a trade route with these four towns. Simply select the towns in this order. Cartagena, Portobello, Blue Fields, Puerto Cabezas. As you can see, all the towns will appear in the list and even the exact course of the route will be shown. However, this route is not very convenient. The convoy would have to sail frequently against the wind and would make only slow progress. The first thing you should do is to change the order of the towns. To change the position of a town in the list, you can select and move it. You see, the course of the route is already much more consistent with the wind directions. But you can optimize the route even more because it runs through an area with little wind. Select the route at the marked position and move it up to the other marker outside the calm. And see how this reduces the duration of the trip. You can certainly improve the route in other places to take better account of the wind, avoid potential storms, or avoid shallow water and cliffs. Feel free to experiment. Then select the town of Cartagena in the list to set the commands for that town. Of course, your people need to know what to buy, what to sell, and what to keep their hands off. So you give them guidelines, which they then follow. Don't worry, it sounds more complicated than it is. The commodities produced in a town are often in abundance. That makes them cheap, and you can sell them in other towns at a profit. Search for cotton and give the order to buy. Your people will then buy cotton as long as it can be sold on the route and the purchase price is low enough. But your people are not stupid. If there are no sell orders for a commodity, if there is no demand, or if the purchase price is too high, they will not buy it.
If you actually have to deliver a commodity somewhere, even though it is very scarce and expensive, you can deactivate this automatic pricing and give your people a maximum purchase price. But for the beginning, you shouldn't even think about such things. Find two more commodities in Cartagena that you want to buy and switch to the town Puerto Cabezas when you are ready. Puerto Cabezas can certainly use the commodities you want your people to buy in Cartagena, so set these commodities to sell. By the way, if you select a commodity, the list of towns will show you where it is bought or sold. Of course, you can also set further preferences for priority, quantity, and price when selling, but it is not important at first. If you want to know what this is for at a later time, just have a look at my tips and tricks. So, an easy route is now available. If you want, you can of course make further settings for the other towns. Feel free to have a look around. When you are ready, close the edit mode for the route again. You will now be shown all kinds of information about the route, but since the route is new, most of the values are zero. And as long as no convoy uses this route, nothing will change. You should therefore assign it to your selected convoy. And now you only have to give your convoy the command to follow the route. Very good. If you now close the route dialog, you can see how your convoy sets sail and executes your commands. In the port of Cartagena, there are now two more convoys ready for you. Up here you can see how many of your convoys are not on a trade route right now. You can select such a convoy either directly in the world or by switching through. Please switch to a free convoy now. Now send this convoy to the route you just created. Open the route mode again. And now select again the option assign route and activate the route on the convoy. Great! You see, a route can have several convoys. This is especially useful if the route is very long or a lot of commodities have to be transported. Your current route is short and the quantity is still small, but that can change once the towns start growing. You can, of course, change, extend, and optimize a route at any time. The affected convoys will implement these changes immediately. Finally, one more thing. The trade route dialog shows you the data of your different routes. You can also view the balances of individual convoys. Take a look at Convoys and Towns. Among other things, all your convoys and vessels are displayed here. You can also view the balances of your convoys, which are currently on tour with a trade route. So you can quickly see if a convoy is currently making gains or losses. This lesson is now also completed. You have now learned the most important things about trade routes. By the way, if you later have your own warehouses in towns, they can also be used and filled by trade routes. More about this in my course about production. <laughs>